Welcome to the Ambientator's intro video for our Smart Ambient Sensor System, an Orbital 2014 project. We are currently at Milestone 3, and I will take you on a brief walkthrough of our project. Inspired by the concept of the Internet of Things, our team wanted to add a sense of connectivity between the real world and the world of software. We have created a system of ambient monitoring through the cloud, a way for building managers and administrators to view the temperature, light, and motion statuses of their rooms. Our project consists of both hardware and software. I will start off by introducing to you some of the hardware we have set up. First and foremost, we have an Arduino Uno unit and an Arduino Ethernet shield. Connected to this microcontroller, our team engineered a circuit complete with a temperature sensor, a light sensor, and a motion sensor. We programmed the Arduino to transmit this data onto the Google App Engine database of the web app we have designed. We plan on giving potential users a choice on how they want to utilize our product. Users can choose to purchase the Ambinator's hardware unit ready-made from us, so that they can immediately start monitoring and recording ambient data onto the app. More adventurous users can choose to design the unit themselves using the Arduino and the various different components. We plan to support these users and provide resources and links for users to design their own hardware to interface with the Ambinator's software. We have a detailed tutorial on how to set up the Arduino unit, simplifying a seemingly daunting task. However, if users are still not confident of assembling the unit themselves, there is always the option of purchasing a ready-made unit from us. Now, I will demonstrate the software side of our project. When you first enter our web app, you will be greeted with a welcome screen showcasing the different features of our app. At Ambinators, we strongly believe in the importance of keeping your data safe and secure, and privacy is important. This is why we have implemented the login system. Each Ambinators hardware unit is associated with a Google account. It could be your personal Google account or a company Google account. Google Apps accounts are also supported. Simply click on the login button and log in as per normal. Let me now bring your attention to the navigation tabs. You will see several tabs, namely Home, Sensors, History, Settings, and Information. Let us now look at the Sensors tab. We analyzed user feedback from the previous milestone. This time round, we have combined all three sensors into a single page. You will be able to view the real-time temperature, light intensity, and motion statuses from this page. Concise help messages have also been added to alleviate the potential confusion of new users. As you can see, the temperature is now 30.83 degrees Celsius. Light intensity is now 88% and motion is not present. Temperature values now have a greater precision of up to two decimal places. Users are able to verify whether the data is updated by looking at the last updated timestamp and the current time timestamp shown on this page. This page auto refreshes every 30 seconds to ensure that your data is always updated. Now, let's look at the history page. As you can see, ambient condition data is recorded on this page and the data is sorted according to time, with the latest data on top. Users can use this page to monitor the conditions of the room over time and easily track the changes in temperature, light intensity, and motion status. I shall now bring your attention to the settings page. Users are able to change the unit of temperature from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit or Kelvin. As you can see, once I've changed the units to Fahrenheit, the changes appear on both the sensors page and the history page. This creates a unified user experience. At Ambionators, we do not limit the scope of our potential users. We have implemented the time zone setting for users who live in a region of a different time zone. Users simply have to enter the time zone of the region they are located in, in terms of coordinated universal time offsets. 
users can also adjust the number of entries shown on history page. Feel free to play around with these settings when you are trying out the app on your own. Lastly, we have an information page, providing detailed instructions on how to obtain an Ambinator's hardware unit, as well as a tutorial on creating their own hardware unit for the more adventurous users. Information on how to use the Ambinator's software is also provided here. The Ambinator's web app works well on devices of all shapes and sizes, with a uniform theme and style, and no functions are compromised even if you are using a smartphone to access this application. The web app has been developed with industry-leading HTML5 and CSS3 standards and incorporates technologies from Bootstrap and jQuery for a more immersive, interactive and logical user interface. We have made the app smarter, more efficient and less resource-intensive. For example, the auto-refresh feature on the census page does not waste valuable data traffic. It only auto-refreshes the page when the user is looking at the page. If the page is left running in a background in an inactive browser tab, for instance, then the auto-refresh does not occur. Our team aims to make it easy for building administrators and managers to encourage environmental awareness resource conservation, and building security. All this through an easy-to-use cloud-based web app, accessible from a myriad of devices. Ambinators, your one-stop ambient solution.